when it speaks about God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference, living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time. We're going to start with Matthew chapter 22, verse 35 to 39. Now, if you've got no past, please take down these notes because it's important that you get to meditate on these scriptures in your own time. Because we're going to be kind of racy today. We're going to be, we're moving. We're moving in the spirit. God is laying some foundations. But it's a very, it's a very popular portion of scripture. But I think many of us have a core and profound nature of it. I'll read. Then one of them, being a lawyer, asked him a question, testing him and saying, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second like it. You must love your neighbor as you love yourself. Heavenly Father, just open up ears now. Open up hearts now. Speak a rainbow word to each and every one. You know that everybody is in their lives, in their needs, and you are our provider. Heavenly Father, the great physician, heal in this place, minister in this place, and deliver in this place, in the name of Jesus. I've got a question for you. Do you love yourself? Answer the question to yourself. It's, it's really, it's an important question. It's an important question. Reflect. Do you love yourself? Okay. You can answer the question to yourself. And Remember, Jesus says, I am the truth. I am the way and I am the life. He says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. It's very important that we don't get church in here or say the things that you think are right to say. It's the thing that needs to be said. It's the truth, because it's the truth that sets us free. The truth may not be nice, but it's the truth. The cross was a nice, but it set us free. So it's important that when you have this inner dialogue, that you're real, because God cannot deal with lies. You have to approach it in truth. He says spirit in truth. Okay. So you said you love yourself, but you don't love yourself. Okay. We're going to look at Corinthians 13, the Lord chapter. Verse 4 to 8. So it's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 8. Listen to love. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy, does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question again. Do you love yourself according to God's love? That's God's love. That's God's description of love.